Hey, we highly recommend watching Phenomena before listening to this show. It's available to stream on Shudder and Amazon Prime in the US and Canada. While you watch the movie, you should also get our commentary track for reactions and riffing. It's available to all our supporters on Patreon or pleasestopshopping.com for a dollar. Links are in the description. In the deepest and darkest of woods, where not even the light of the moon can penetrate, two vile creatures indulge in dark delights and have conquered their comrades into capitulation. Now they wander these lands watching scary cinema. There's a good chance you're next. Mandalore and David invite you to ponder some spooky tapes. <laughs> I was doing it that loud before, and Discord would not pick it up as a voice. Oh, holy fucking shit! I Hello, guess it everybody. Was just, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your ears are. <laughs> Mandy just uh, uh, slashed your ears. Welcome to another episode of Pondering Spooky Tapes. Oh, I should have Today Wilhelm will screen. be. Yeah, there's uh, waveforms like Legos. You, you can do one. You can do one right now if you, are you like. ready. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they found out who the guy who did that uh, scream was, but I can't remember who it was. And now that factoid is gone from my head. Why I am I still was talking? So, no. no, it was not Wilhelm. Wilhelm's Wilhelm. scream is like super good. Wayne Knight. <laughs> it was Wayne Knight. It was, it was Wayne Knight. He it made the Wilhelm Wayne scream after when he getting, got inflated in Space Jam inflated. 1. <laughs> <Yeah>. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got done watching... Dario Argento's Phenomena, also known as Creepers in the U.S. Also known as third movie, I guess, because there are three different... There are at least I There's a third today. cut. There's a, U, there's a U.K., a U.S., and an Italian cut, I think. There's a lot of cuts. Listen, what we watched was the uh, v Shutter version of this movie. Which is not the one that has 27 minutes cut out of it. It is not. Creepers is, but we'll talk about that in a bit. So... Have you guys ever heard about Jolly or Giallo movies? Oh yeah, I think I David, I know you and I are going to be aware of it. I don't know if Brendan and Yeah, I, I don't are... I don't I don't I don't think so. No, I'm a popcorn uh, muncher, I'm too I stupid for it. No idea what that is. So, uh, I'm just uh, literally the quickest thing ever. Also, I'm going to be real like this movie is so fucking weird. It barely counts as a giallo, but I'm still going to count it because it, of, it has the hallmarks because it has the black gloves and knives. But either way, giallo, it's a type of uh, Italian movie that is mystery fiction, supernatural and thrillers. And it was giallo means yellow. And it's a term that comes from really cheap kind of garbage schlocky uh yellow paperbacks that were very popular at the time well it's sort of like now how you go to like a store and they'll usually have like some smut or like some cheap adventure books for like two bucks <laughs> they're like in that big bin where it's like oh you can yeah. like buy your your shit book for like two dollars and they had like an equivalent of those where they would sell like little mysteries and thrillers and like those and they usually they're, they're like yeah. yellow printed books they're cheaper and so that when they yeah. made the movies, they called them like, oh, let's watch a yellow. Like, let's watch. It's like their yeah. version for let's like Let's go flick. watch a yellow. It's like yeah, Italian it's, flick, but yeah. hyper specific for a genre. A genre. So we got, we got like the most popular. This, the, this was made by the most popular director, probably of these types of movies, Dario Argento. Mm -hmm. uh, Dario Argento made Phenomena, Suspiria. Uh, my favorite giallo ever. It is so good. Deep Red or Profondo Rosso. There's a, quite a bit of Suspiria in this one. Like, you can tell it's the same dude. Suspiria is not at all, not at all a giallo. No, Even though some people like say it is, it is it's very like much. <laughs> Phenomena is, it's, it's pretty, it's very much later on in his career, I think, because Phenomena is from 87, and, uh, this was way after Deep Red, way after all his big movies like Cat and Nine Tales, Crystal Plumage, uh, Suspiria. Oh, gosh, it's so hard to even... This movie is a fucking nightmare. One of the things that I remember reading about, and a, a lot of the... 
there's a lot of facts about this movie that are like because it all happened in Italy. It all happened in Rome. So there's no way for me to actually fact check this shit because I, <laughs> I don't speak Italian. But a, lo- a lot thought, of the facts that I'm gonna bring up, I thought you were implying oh, yeah. those places just weren't real. <laughs> they aren't. They aren't. So it's hard to it's hard to say if if it even happened at all. But uh, no, a lot of the facts that I'm gonna bring up during this, it, it, like take it with a grain of salt because apparently this movie is the one that is the most Dario Argento he's ever made. Like, apparently, he wrote and directed this all on his own. Not a lot of people helping him out, like, with his other movies. Like, this was his passion project, and he still talks about Phenomena as it being his favorite movie that he's ever made. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, 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 apparently it's his favorite movie he's it, ever like made. 20, it's 20 minutes of my he favorite just like, movie. He just liked working with the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like a lot of I like a lot of that this movie. This movie has a lot of funny shit in it. Yeah, so I guess the, the premise is to put it basically is uh, there is a serial killer on the loose and the Jalo comes in cuz you see like the black glove during the murders like the knives which is very much a hallmark of it. Yeah, very and much. There's a killer on the loose and this is connected a bit to to Jennifer Connelly who has the yeah. ability to communicate with bugs telepathically, and and there's a monkey. That's the <laughs> and movie. And there's a monkey. also a monkey. <laughs> there is a chimpanzee. There is an ape in this movie. God, where to begin? It's so hard talking about this movie because so much happens, but nothing happens. It feels like everything is just Chekhov's this or that. Because oh yeah, things are set yeah. up and. <laughs> So things ever so many things are set up and so many things just get no resolution. <laughs> a lot is not paid off, no. And this is in the cut that is fully like finished cuts cuz there's a cut in America called the Creepers cut because it came out as another movie called Creepers. And that cut has 27 minutes missing, which I mean, fuck man. I could think about a few things that you could have Oh yeah, like got they rid can cut of in this movie. So those payoffs that go nowhere, because there are so many scenes where we're just like, "What's happening?" <laughs> because you think it's going to be like, "Oh, she's going to use the bugs to like find who the killer is," or she you, you I mean, use the bugs in an interesting way other than violence, essentially. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, Brendan's also going to be thinking of Worm the entire time. I am, yeah, yeah. Worm. <laughs> <laughs> Worm, is, Worm is a web novel that I love that is uh, this superhero web novel. The main character controls bugs. So The bugs have a purpose, though. The bugs tell her secrets. They tell yeah. her secrets. Through the bug's eyes, she sees people dying, maybe? And the bug vision is just like... I, I'm still confused as to how the sleepwalking That's is connected to, to the bug I controlling. That. I have no idea. <laughs> the, the, so sleepwalk, just for, the sleepwalking is just a plot ex- like to get her to the monkey. For context, which I mean, it's a monkey I, delivery I, device. I, 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 I leave the monkey for like for. I, I'm saying for context, but quite frankly, even with context, this movie is a fucking. It's so hard to follow. Well, the thing is also the soundtrack's pretty a big part of that because it oh, plays. God, yeah. What what all what were the bands we had? Iron Motorhead. Maiden, yeah. Iron Maiden. Mer- yeah. Uh, and like Goblins. Sex Gang. Goblin. Or any other like movie, like any other basic bitch movie would just have like person alone in a house creeped out. It yeah. would play like tensil, like nothing. This goes. It just goes full on like. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's just starts playing fucking blank. kickstart my heart. Jennifer Connelly's just walking around this beautiful house, just looking at random shit. And <laughs> meanwhile, there's just Motorhead going hardcore on it, and she's just slowly pacing around the house. And it this happens such a all weird the time, tone. all the time. <laughs> So movie starts out, this girl gets fucking murdered by a guy with scissors. And the guy <laughs> Oh, she she runs into the, the cave with no coins. Yeah, and it's weird because when the scissors first like go for her hand, there's like not gore effects there's or anything. No so blood. it's like, oh, that's weird. And then leaves the house, there's <laughs> gore everywhere. 
It's nonstop. So all because she misses a bus. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, all because right. she misses a bus. Because she missed her bus and ran to the bat cave. One of the funniest things. She just runs into a bat cave. And then gets killed by the reason. giant coin. Wait, oh, uh, fuck. She gets de decapitated by a window. She get, No, <laughs> she gets decapitated by scissors, Brendan. Oh, see, because I thought, like, pair of fucking I thought after the first oh, the kill, glass falling on her, like, cut her head off. It's not clear what happens. I, is yeah, that what happens? Happen? Well, like, no, I thought, I no way. Scissors are implied. I thought that's what happened. I, I thought the first kill was, I thought she was killed by the glass from the window because because the second kill also happens in a window. So after the second kill, I was like, okay, this killer kills with windows. Just He's like Bill Gates. And then the we third kill. Her head severed. We just yeah, see the head like falling off. We don't see the severing. Yeah, we, we just see glass falling in slow-mo. <laughs> it's like a really old slow motion camera too. <laughs> Put so some Ave Maria fuck. to it's it. Such, I, dude, that camera is so old. You, it, you can see like... <laughs> You can see the not, dust. It's in not the lens. artifacting. It's just like old. It's, it's just such an dirt. old camera. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was, she dies, and then Doctor Loomis. Yes. <laughs> what's his What's his name Donald in this Pleasance. movie? It's he's, Donald he's Pleasance a, that plays doc, the character. Doctor guy. It's he's like, just Doctor guy. He's the entomologist. He He's an entomologist. He's just like looking at corpses of women from like months ago. Really graphic, disgusting bug ridden corpses yeah but right they're really good effects was it right before that the first monkey moment leading into that what yeah it before? no yeah, it, was it was the, the first monkey moment. Before, yeah. yeah they established that i think they, i thought they established the monkey scientist before she finds him oh, oh yeah right, like no no yeah, yeah the monkey it was, finds, it was the, the monkey bus it was her. the bus girl killed and then it we, we it cuts to the monkey walking <laughs> to the house the with, <laughs> yeah, with, with right. the, the monkey because I made a comment about that. That's right. The monkey wait, wait, but they established something. They established something at this at with this, and I just realized it. <gasps> they she, the, monkey the monkey locks monkey herself. Her? No, because the <laughs> monkey locks herself out. You know, oh my you want to know what I just realized? I didn't even realize. <laughs> you you want to know? What, no, you want to know what I just realized? Brendan what? made the joke about Chekhov's monkey so many times. Yeah. In the first scene, the monkey brings back to the professor a knife. Yep. Brings the scalpel back oh, he, right in the first the scene. Monkey the monkey, the monkey brings the scalpel back, so the, the monkey has first knife scene, knowledge. He holds knife, just like I, I found a knife out in Chicago. The so monkey that's why the monkey the knows how to use a knife. Yeah, because the doctor, doctor, Lewis has the doctor been, said, "Don't yeah. this is work. You will cut yourself," and then starts cutting paper and showing the monkey. You will cut yourself with this. See, it's not a toy. It's not a toy. The oh doctor has been training God. the chimpanzee as a surgical Wait. assistant. Wait. <laughs> this movie is way this guys this movie is way way past star league it's way smarter than us holy shit i mean that's not super I smart not it's just establishing that. some no, things that pay off i didn't even realize that because i was too focused on that chimp's fucking tumor ass <laughs> i'm <laughs> sorry my it's so ass. it's so gross this might Listen, be one of the I, first cases of butthole shaming on a movie podcast I have, that has ever happened. I have so much I have so much respect for the chimp community, but that ass was fucking weird. Dude, every scene yeah, I the monkey way, was in, I no. could not pay attention because I was just watching. I was just the looking at my butthole. Because the thing just, is, the monkey the, the monkey is like the monkey is just in scenes where the monkey is not necessary. Like cause the monkey the just the, hanging the, out. The chimp is uh, Donald Pleasant's, uh, like his his character's assistant, assistant and so guard butler. <laughs> yeah, because so remember, let's things. establish this: he is in a wheelchair and he has that sweet he, lift. Yeah, he is in a wheel. He does it's have just a, like a, a, a lift. The episode. A lift that bear that has kind of a point. At, <laughs> eventually. Oh yeah, they they did not use that nearly as much they, as I thought they would. I, I, Usually in movies, like I, I'm, I'm on that Gremlins head. Oh yeah, like Gremlins shows that fucking li like uh, that stair yeah. lift, and you know shit's gonna happen. And with you know, it. and and they use it. This movie does it, but then nothing happens really. No, <laughs> no, which is super surprising. The lift comes a guy back. goes down and gets stabbed awkwardly. Yeah, that's pretty much his death. <laughs> Just like come to me as yeah. he shines a laser light God. in his face. That's a cool shot of the eyeball, though. Every scene with the chimp, it's just a bunch of people like expo dumping, like so much lore, so much exposition about stuff going on, like planning, like the mystery. Because this is technically a whodunit. A lot of the Jala movies are whodunits, and they're just talking about this shit during the entire time. But it's impossible to pay attention because there's just <laughs> a fucking monkey there, just 
scratching its nose and chewing on on something. And it's so distracting because it's like forefront. They're it's clearly so weird. seeing the monkey apples off camera and he's just still chewing just, in every shot. <laughs> anytime the monkey like walks away from the shot too, I'm just concerned. Where's the monkey going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What like, is the where's monkey the doing? Monkey going? Is what it is coming happening back? with the monkey? So the monkey was played by a chimp named In- Inga? In- Inga. Inga? I-N-G-A. Inga. Yeah, something Inga. like that. And uh, that trained chimpanzee <laughs> Trained chimpanzee is like wet fire to me. I know, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, this fact is so fucking funny because of what Brendan said. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Apparently, while they were uh, apparently while they were filming, uh, Inga in- Inga decided to. <laughs> And get decided to go off screen and the, and into the woods, and they they, they lost Inga for a, for a few hours. I fucking said that. I was like, the I know. Left when you said lost. that, I when you said that, I tried so hard not to say that fact in the commentary, which you can get on our on please stop shopping dot com. But uh, yeah. No, Apparently the monkey just fucking ran away for a few hours and came back. <laughs> they were searching in the forest and they were like, where the fuck is this monkey? And apparently the monkey just made its way back to the Oh, set. God. <laughs> oh my so, God. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew yeah. it. Well, because Brennan and I would watch and like, <sighs> you'd see the chim like looking off camera. And it's like, oh, maybe the crew member's offering her a treat or something. Cause she just like, will run out of frame. Oh like, my really, god! And really then come back and like it, it'll it'll swap back to the monkey, and in some of the shot, shots, the she is uh she's chewing on something, and there's one yeah. one frame uh where the professor is talking <laughs> to our main actress Jennifer Connelly, uh and, yeah, and yeah, the one. monkey is just chewing like cut or something, and I, I I swear I thought I saw someone like give the monkey something like stay <laughs> here, I stay calm, also did. eat cud. I also did, but I th- I think it's the shadow. I, I think it's the chimp shadow. I would have to go back and look. I, I would have to frame by. <laughs> frame the, that no the, the best every frame from- a monkey <laughs> yeah <laughs> Make if a- you if you thought we would have any insight on this movie you're so fucked the only thing we're the only thing we're talking about is the fucking monkey make a monkey cut it's just the entire movie but it's only the scenes with the monkey oh, in it. it would be so short and okay. so long like longer than you think shorter than you think so um, Jennifer Connelly's character, she's like a uh, after the professor stuff. I she's she's like a sure daughter of is. an actor. Or I, yeah, she her name is like her. So her Jennifer. name in the movie is Jennifer, Jennifer name, Corvino, yeah. and it's Jennifer I think. <laughs> it, but yeah, it's her dad. Her father is called Paul Corvino, and he's an actor, and she attends school in the Swiss Alps. Why is she in the Swiss Alps? Uh, I think it's just like a rich person sending like the daughter away kind of thing. It's such such a weird thing. I think it's supposed to just be a nice private school. Yeah, it's like she was sent to like a fancy private school Like PCA. Because she's just there and all the, the, like her roommate (laughs) is, her roommate is like, I love your father. He's so good in every movie. uh." And then she's like, I'm vegetarian. I'm going to start eating baby Baby food food with a toothbrush. With a fucking (laughs) toothbrush. She just starts eating baby food with a toothbrush. And then the roommate just keeps talking about her father. And it's like, bro, how are you not talking about the baby food? That's so fucking weird. And I totally thought the baby food was going to come back up at some point for a reason, right? Like I thought there was a point to it. it, And it does not. No. The only thing that happens after that. The headmaster comes in and takes the poster of her dad yeah, away. But, but then, she, you know, so the one girl's smoking on the bed. The headmaster <laughs> comes in and goes, no, no posters. Also, why are you smoking? Yeah. Don't keep doing that. No <laughs> posters. Be sorry. It's super weird, too, because the thing is, I, I think they mentioned that I, I'm not sure because I, I I was having trouble paying attention to this movie at the start. This it, it is a slow start of a movie. I think she mentions that the posters are of, of her dad. Which it might is have been. So they weird. are. They yes, are. Yes, yeah. Well, it's yeah, cause, so Because her dad was a, like he's like famous. It's like Tom Cruise's daughter being sent. And somewhere. and the roommate wanted to like 
she was in love with her dad. She's like, I cannot wait to look at these posters. Also, yeah, who carries a poster of their dad around? Yeah, that's like, that's like if Jaden Smith had Royal Smith posters in his room. It's super fucking weird. He, it might, though. Jaden Smith's a weirdo. This is when we learn that she has, like, sleep. She just, I think she just sleepwalks to... Because it's not really connected to the... It seems... At first, it seems like it'll be connected to her powers. And they hint they hint at a multiple personality. Cause yeah, they say, the oh, it's a like, personality do, emerging. Because she, she starts talking to other people about how she, she can talk to... She goes to Donald Play. She goes into the woods after sleepwalking, and then well, you know, she gets found by the monkey. Wait, wait, wait! Very important. She sleepwalks for the first time, and she goes somewhere. It looks oh, like she goes I up the stairs. About that. It, it looks like she goes to the top of the school, but then I think it's a different fucking building because it's like almost an it abandoned so building trippy. where she's two point five D platformering on this yeah, on yeah, this yeah. edge. Yeah, and then she sees our second kill. A woman just runs at her, goes through the window. And she doesn't even react. She's just like, oh, fuck, this bitch dead. It seems she's sleepwalking. sleepwalking might be the bugs talking to her while she's asleep. Because sometimes she wakes up and then she'll see like a bug or she'll see a murder or a bug shows it's her always, a murder. Yeah, it's always like zoom ins on bugs. And then I, I feel like the filmmaker Dario is just like, you get it. You get it, right? Bug, bug, bug vision. Okay. Bug justice. Good. The bug one like, justice. Bug, bug justice. It's super weird. No, but on this one, the, the, she fucking, she falls off the roof, right? And then she gets hit by the, the frat boys in the car. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Oh, right. She, Cause yeah, the thing the, is, she the maybe like, okay. <laughs> the school is somewhere in the woods. But right? she's in the city. In the like but walking then, on then, top but of then the building. Hard cuts. Yeah. Just yeah. hard cuts to a city. And she's and in the middle then, of the road. Lo locations she, don't matter. <laughs> it's it's, so, it's so fucking trippy. She gets hit hit on by two guys. She almost no. Does she get hit by a car? Well, she's they literally the car hit by their her. car. The car yeah. hits her. She's on the ground. And remember the their faces are like pure white. Scheiß no more. He's okay. Oh shit! Then, are you okay? Yeah. Then they and let then her in the, the car. And then the ex the the, <laughs> the and then they awkwardly try to assault her. The exposure on the camera is so high you can't even see the guys' faces. They're just completely white. Oh, and I don't yeah, think that's, that's right. on purpose. But one <laughs> no, of the because... guys is her roommate's boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. But you're supposed to like reveal one of the dudes, but the light is so bright on his face you can't, you see, can't shit. see shit. It's so funny. And then she, for some reason, the guys abduct her and things get weird. Well, things it was get weird 80s horror movie. Well, it looked like, because I was wondering, I was, I was like, is this like supposed to be an assault scene? Because it looked more like, it looked more like they're trying to make her sit in the other person's lap while they were driving, it like they're fighting over her. Because they're just it like, does, yeah. just like, move over there. Because they're driving like pretty fast still, and she's just between them, and they're just sort of like moving her between the seats while they're still and, driving. Yeah, and, and they say like, "Stop moving, be careful." Yeah, I'm like, "What's happening?" And, like, and she's just like, and Jennifer Connelly's like, "Not yet." <laughs> she just fucking jumps out of the moving she jumps car. Out of the moving car. <laughs> <laughs> she eats so much shit because she tumbles down. A off fucking the road hill. into the woods. And then that's when Inga shows up, the monkey. <laughs> and offers and her hand, she, saying, come <laughs> with me. You will come with me, I am the champ. Meanwhile, this is so weird, because it's one of the only scenes where there's an actual horror movie soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> and the <laughs> monkey the just is, extends its out. hand. And it's like, come with me if you want to live. And Jennifer is just in a trance or something. I, I I think this is when she wakes up actually from her sleepwalking. She just takes the monkey's hand and just goes off like <laughs> to the doctor's place. Pleasant just um I don't know. He talks about the wind it's or about whatever. Wind the I mean, like, he, he, he's, he's like the wind makes the killer kill. Doesn't he get beetle cum in his eye? Yeah, he does. Yeah. After yeah, she because, gets the um, first dead or the first dead girl's coat. Well, the idea was oh, that like does. the bugs don't know about the murderer because because Dr. Loomis is saying, Oh, well, the killer is still near the bugs. He's near <laughs> the corpses, so the bugs are getting on him. And now the he, bugs dude, are dropping around and you can talk to them <laughs> to figure out what's happening. Donald Donald Pleasance is just a man that gets typecast as the crazy person and he just rolls with it. Yeah. He is completely fucking batshit in this. 
much like in every other fucking movie he's in. But like, it's in also this, just how much the monkey adds. Like him just sitting so there talking about the bugs thinking to her as a chimpanzee is sitting in a chair just scratching, looking around. That's not even the <laughs> weird like, part. The weird part. At one point, he just gives Jennifer a bug, and then he just starts talking about. He's just like, ah. The male bug is very horny for you. Are you horny <laughs> right. for him? And then Jennifer is just like, haha, what? <laughs> and that's <laughs> it. That's the entire fucking exchange. A sound. You can hear is a mating call. You're exciting it. Smell it. Go. Didn't didn't he give her the mantra for sleepwalking though? Like her her first sleepwalking, he gives her the mantra like "I am sleepwalking." Oh I yeah, that barely, that barely does anything. Just do that if you're ever sleepwalking. Just tell yourself. Yeah, just re if you're ever sleepwalking, just realize just you're yourself. sleepwalking. Duh. And stop. And just stop that. That's just weird. Also, at this point, I think is when Jennifer. Just start seeing larva everywhere. That uh, larva is a common thing in this movie for some reason. I'm not too sure. I think the larva are a sign of death. Well, yeah, what? it was, it was it's, for well, the yes, um, they, they, they it was for the killer. It means the killer's nearby. She's like she goes to do like her nightly routine or whatever, and then she finds larva, and then that that's the end of the scene, and then it's the next day. Mm. Apparently, she's the only person to ever have snuck out. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> they were like, no school. girls have ever snuck out of this school before ever. What you did last night is highly irregular. No student ever left the school at night before. <laughs> and then they're like, get on the bed. We're doing a fucking ESP or whatever. And they put a weird hat EKG. on her. <laughs> An EKG. And they put a hat on her. Oh, and yeah, the then Pazuzu electrolodes. That's right. She, electrodes. Yeah, she has. <laughs> she's. <laughs> She has like bug telekinesis, I think. I don't know what happens there. It's so weird. It's not really clear how she communicates with the bugs, just that she kind of can. It, it's all it's all a, a mix of just stuff. It's a lot. Like like because the thing is, we're not even at the like we talked a lot right now, and we we I think we're probably like an hour or more in the movie. No, you could rearrange a lot of scenes in the first hour, and it probably wouldn't make a huge difference. Oh, with, like who gets hit, with like who gets killed by who and stuff. It, it's so but, it's so surreal how they deliver it, or just like her it, wandering and it, it plays rock music. Like, it, it just feels it blends together. It, it feels like you're having a uh, what? What's the dream where you you, you dream? sleep paralysis? It's a fucking sleep paralysis demon. Yeah, <laughs> just, it, it's uh, so uh, trippy. Uh, well, and you could see it and go, oh, I see how Creepers came out and they said, we're going to cut a half hour out of this yeah, movie. Well, yeah, no, absolutely. But the <laughs> thing is, like insane. if you cut anything, it feels like you're missing some things because oh, everything sure. has a point, but nothing has a point because it's such, it's so weird. I think one weird thing that I felt like I, as I was watching, um, every time the larva were on Jennifer, Jennifer Connelly's hands, I, I swear yeah. they would cut to a close-up shot of her hands, and I'm wondering if they ever used her real hands to hold the larva, or if that's always a bug handler. Oh. I, I think it is. Uh, actually, okay, I, I actually, <laughs> here's a fun fact. Those aren't real larva. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, those are uh, ver ver vermiculite. Yeah, vermiculite is like a, a, a so, sort of rock. All right. And oh, apparently, if you put it in, they put it in water and added liquid chocolate and mint. Oh, and it just looks like bugs then. Wow. Yeah, apparently it looks like bugs. What? That I'm not sure about these facts. Well, but I was, I, I was going to it. say I doubted Brendan's theory anyways because there's a brief scene where they had her swimming in water that was on fire. Oh yeah, when water's on fire. That's God saying to die. I feel like they didn't care. Yeah, I feel so like, I they, like, just I feel like they, they just did shit. Like, hold, they also hold the lost bug. the monkey, so it's not like they care about. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know. We you could be like really averse to getting like larva on your hands, but be like, "Oh shit, fire on a lake!" Yeah, sure. I mean, but like, dude, we temper she, they dude, temporarily lost a chimpanzee in heat. Jennifer, like, holy yeah, shit! Yeah, oh no, she was definitely in heat. Like well, yeah, that, that they're, monkey they're parts, was like, yeah. The reason her ass yeah. was so huge is that their parts swell up when they're yeah. in ovulation, basically. Which but that no, chimpanzee also, was during the entire filming, apparently. Also, I'm not sure about this, but at one point, Jennifer Connelly definitely took a fucking fake IV out of her 
thing. Oh yeah, I don't think that that did not look fake. It did not that look fake. Really yeah, real. it looked real because she had a as she got up, she had the like swollen little part. It, 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 she you could see for just a split second she had like a swollen uh, part of her arm where the IV came out of, and it was pink. It looked exactly it looked yeah, real. It did not look like fake blood. It it looked very real, and also I don't know how they would have faked that. It looked so fucking gross. The question is just, did they give her saline or was it something else? Yeah, I don't hate needles, but for some reason, when it's needle gore, I can't do it. It's so gross. You know what scene we, we skipped over that I loved? What was it? Hmm? The bullying nightmare scene. Yeah, oh, that's what yeah. I was going back to. So, Jen, like, <laughs> after she gets the fucking, achy, like, Pazuzu anti-pazuzu <laughs> machine whatever she gets diagnosed with have being satan or whatever they don't fucking know they steal her diary and they start reading it to, to one of the teachers <laughs> and everybody and everybody's laughing at her and then she's she just takes it back and says i'm going back home now and then she she just leaves <laughs> Every girl runs after her and and puts her, ha her their hands in her face and they're like, "I'm a spider. I'm nightmare, a spider. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. I'm a mosquito." Yeah. It's two and dozen it girls linking arms around her and just chanting bug things at her for and like five minutes straight. And so we and then one with the fire single. extinguisher. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. With the fire extinguisher, just for a split. And I'm wondering, like, did the director just go, "All right, just uh, well, how how mean are you?" Just be mean. And one girl was like, I'm going to grab the fire extinguisher and just spray her with it. What? I'm a spider. Look, I'm a and spider. And I'm a rope. Speak and you shall be obeyed. No. Look, I'm a spider. No. Stop it. Stop it. I'm a killer spray. Death will insect. It feels, dude, it feels like this movie was filmed and people just did whatever. Like, it feels like Dario is just like, okay, now you bully him. And then that's, bully her. And then that's what happened. Dude. It was like the boy Everybody's scene in Hellraiser 3 where they just kind of <laughs> fuck with her a little oh bit in the parking god. lot. It's oh my god, like, ah. it kind of does. It's like a Freddy Got Fingered bit. Just like, it actually is. Oh the my scene god. would not it be out of place like if Tom, Freddy Got Fingered. It feels like a Tom Green bit. Yeah. It absolutely does. And then she does her Oscar award speech. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I, I love, love you. you. I love she's you. She's not talking to the girls, though. She's talking to the bugs. Yeah, because she summons a horde of flies, and they all go around the school, and sure. they swarm around it, and then she's... That's it. She, she goes dies. to see Donald Pleasance again, I guess. No, she she passes out. Oh, she does pass they go, out. We yeah. gotta call the loony bin. She, then, that's when yeah. she gets the IV in her, doesn't it? She gets filled with bug juice. She takes out the yeah. IV, the 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 immaculate oh, needle drop that right, sticks directly right, into right. the yarn, and then she breaks the clock and fucking runs away. That's not yet. Man. No, that's not yet. Because before that, we got <laughs> Bee Gees. We got the Bee Gees. <laughs> oh, the Bee Gees shirt. That's right. Oh, oh that's fuck BGs. yeah! I love so the <laughs> fashion and fits in this movie. The bird jacket, the fucking taped on Bee Gees shirt. No, uh, genuinely though, the fashion is fucking amazing. And then there's this girl with a Bee Gees shirt, and it, it is so obviously. It's it looks so like obviously beyond mm, ironed on. It's like it, hot glued on. It looks like she just fucking taped the face of one of the Bee Gees on a shirt and it just says Bee Gees and black marker and she just <laughs> wears that in class and then in class something Richard happens I, they start they start talking about the future the past being stupid and then they start talking about Richard Gere and that's the end that scene sucks <laughs> it's so pointless but it rules because of that girl with the Bee Gees shirt Richard Gere that's it that's when it cuts to monkey playing, flying a kite at night and guarding a house <laughs> at the same time. That, that's when we learned that Inga is also the body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of the hitman's bodyguard. You've heard of the hitman's bodyguard's wife. Now Ryan Reynolds is showing up as the hitman bodyguard. <laughs> chimp. The fucking monkey is like guarding the door of the doctor's place or something and then all of a sudden she's like oh fuck i'm gonna play with a kite and then she just rips the shit out she of a kite 
<laughs> he destroyed the shit out of that guy. Yeah, she fucking it, it, that it. monkey has so much strength. It's I think so I think scary. the more terrifying thing is what oh. happens right after when the door like closes on the monkey and somebody is inside the scientist man's house. Yeah. And I was the most afraid I've ever been in my life because I saw that the monkey's monkey like, oh fuck, so I locked myself strong. out. Let me rip the door apart with my bare hands. <laughs> And dude, that I yeah. don't I don't think they had to like fake anything. That monkey no. rips through that fucking door. It's horrifying. Dude, the monkey punched through the glass. The and whole it part of the screaming. scene screaming. Like it's supposed to be like, oh no, there's a scary man killer person in the house, and the monkey's locked outside. But it's more just the monkey's screaming and breaking through glass, and the blinds are shattering. And Doctor Loomis is like, oh, you locked yourself out again. <laughs> 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 Let me take my elevator down very slowly. It's like the monkey's just glass, destroying too. and screaming. And meanwhile, <laughs> the fun, the fucking best part is that while this is all happening, there's just Motorhead playing, just like so <laughs> fucking loud. There's just monkey noises, Motorhead, and Donald Pleasant just See, going. No, who are I don't you? Think, I don't Who's think in my no, house? No, I don't think the Motorhead started until yeah, the motorhead after he was start. dead. It yes. started with. Oh, started after, after he, he was dies? killed during the police going into like his house and stuff and they don't there's just an exterior shot of his house with a bunch of cop cars and it's after the death scene uh when he dies in that scene it's just no, no. it's so as much as soon as they so pull intense. the old man out on the stretcher dead it's as soon as he comes out dead oh, during yeah, his yeah, tense yeah, yeah, yeah. death where the, they could have like had him furiously just, hitting the button oh my just god nothing also holy shit so Donald Pleasance dies, which is sad. Donald Pleasance rules, but they make he terrible dies. use of that motorized and stair chair. Yeah, no, he he just like slowly goes down. And he's like, "Who are you? Who is in my house?" And yeah, then the he feet, just gets the killer's slowly like stabbed. feet away, and he's still like squinting using like a laser pointer. Like, who is there? <laughs> Who are you? It does have a cool shot of the blade. Oh yeah, the cool shot of just the laser eye. That's so cool. But he gets stabbed and dies, and then the monkey. <laughs> The monkey, <laughs> the monkey the mourns monkey the body. Mourns the body and then resolve. It gets resolve to hunt down a man or woman. We don't know. It's a whodunit. And so the monkey just takes off and is not. <laughs> we only see them again briefly <laughs> once, and that's our setup. The monkey's <laughs> off to go le live in the forest. No, the, no, no, you guys were forgetting not something. Yet. No, the, the monkey, monkey went to the monkey. trash can, but that was after yeah, another that, scene. No, 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 that's after. No, the monkey, the monkey jumps, jumps on, on a fucking car. Oh, oh the monkey attacks the killer's car. <laughs> the monkey's on top of the car it, going fucking It's going bananas. fucking crazy, just <laughs> screeching like crazy. And the it mounted killer, the fucking car the like a Monster Hunter like, Rise monster. <laughs> the killer's freaking the fuck out like what the fuck is going on right now and then he just swerves takes a like hard right and the monkey just fucking pow on the fucking floor <laughs> <laughs> And I realized I forgot it because it's also like, it's an insane scene of like, holy shit, a chimpanzee is trying to like stop this killer and hijack a car. But it's like a 20 second scene that hard <laughs> cuts la like the hot, like the ambulance rolling out Dr. Loomis. It takes it just, like, no fucking time. It cuts time. mid Dark Souls roll of the chimpanzee hitting the road. <laughs> the motor it just immediately cuts. That's when Jennifer's had it. She's like, I'm going to die. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody run big dies. Ooh, or whatever. Who cares? She calls her dad's lawyer. Mr. Shapiro. Mr. Shapiro. Yeah, Brendan Shapiro. Mm, yeah, I, I don't remember. I, it's this is the part that is really like the thing is all the side plot stuff is so memorable because it's fucking bad shit. When it comes to like the actual plot, like because th this is when we're into the. Well, we third also act. Uh, we didn't mention the firefly th and glove scene. Well, that was oh. earlier. That was when that it was went way earlier. The, uh, that oh, was the 
third kill. I, that's just I, I under, that's, that's just to bugs confirm her the trouble. Yeah, I think that's the bugs confirming to her that she saw a death in her dream. So that seems such a fucking throwaway. Honestly, that scene could be like cut and nothing would Moral change. Moral of the movie: Don't fall. Yeah, you can move bugs. shit anywhere or just cut it. She she calls her dad's agent secretary, I think, and the agent secretary is like, "Hey, dude, I can't like I can't get hold of him. He's busy right now." And she's like, "There's a killer after me trying to kill me." I'm not going back to school. And then she's the 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 guy's just like, ah, fucking deal with it, bitch. Whatever, haha. <laughs> and then something is it her teacher? Who the fuck it's is like this? It's like a aide. I think she's like an aide. No, or it like was the girl. It was this, it's the same girl from the car ride that dropped her off. At yeah, the school. I, yeah, at the start of the movie. Yeah. But who the fuck is she? Well, she had worked at the um in the medical thing or hospital or somewhere because. Uh, we learn soon by ha her having a large scar across her chest that I guess she was I raped by someone in the psyche in the like in the asylum. But she worked she worked somewhere for medical. I think she, I think she worked at, at like a like mental a school institution. Or so, no, she was she, at a mental institution. I, I remember that. But like yeah. at the beginning of the movie, she's also the liaison to get to her to the school. So I think she yes. just I think she mainly worked at the school as like a liaison to rich people. Um. For their, for their, like to guide their kids or something. That's what it's, I that's what I thought. The I, I think that the movie's she works Italian. There now she used to work at a mental hospital. Uh, oh, she's, yeah. she's a detective. The detective that you don't meet until, oh, like, the last yeah. until the very end. Yeah, because that's what I was saying earlier. She becomes a character in like the last fifteen. Yeah, no, that's of the what movie. I was saying earlier. The movie, the the plot only starts at the end. Yeah, there's also that weird scene interspersed in like the middle where you meet the detective at the mental institution where they just talk about like, as you go down further into the oh institution. Oh my god! I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, because that's when they introduce the, the scar guy. But he's only yeah. he's only in that part and that's the first time we meet the detective and then the second time we meet the detective is at the end of the movie. He's not and like he solving dies, anything. So he it just doesn't matter. No, he's, yeah. at the, he's at the house with the fly litter too. I Oh, I, dude, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, she, <laughs> so whatever, something, something. And then her teacher. She can't get a train ticket. She can't get a plane ticket because she has to go back from America to America from uh, Switzerland. She's going to take a train. She's not very good at school. That's why she left. <laughs> <laughs> and then the woman that she trusts for some reason, we don't know who she is, comes back and she's like, Mr. Shapiro, your father's attorney, lawyer? Agent, told me agent, to yeah. Agent told Hollywood me man. to get you something, something. It's it's clearly a trick because she she just says like, oh, come oh. to my house and I'll give you plane tickets to leave. Yeah, it's like, oh, there's a plane. Yeah. There's a plane at 12 p.m. tomorrow. All the planes are out mysteriously today. But your but your dad's law, your dad's agent said, give you some money and, and just a plane ticket. We'll get and you out of here. You can come stay ticket. with yeah, yeah. me. Then the movie starts. Then yeah. this is literally when the movie starts. Like the entire rest of the movie is not important. It doesn't matter. Because Which this is weird is when, when you think about when you hear like, oh, there's bugs telling her about like serial killers and stuff. That sounds like it should be some insane it, well, shit happening. It has one payoff. Not well, payoff, but there's a bunch of setups in the oh, first, you know, hour, it, hour and a half of the movie. I mean, the bugs Hour have half, yeah. the bugs have quite a payoff. It's good <laughs> that there were bugs. But yeah, either way, she's like goes into her house and all the mirrors have and mirrors and paintings have like no, I think it's only mirrors. She has a bunch of mirrors in her house. And like, they're all a covered lot of mirrors. And they're all covered. And then she's like, ah, my son doesn't like his face. And then she's like, oh, what is he fucking ugly or something? And then she's like, I don't know. I don't know. And then she takes her glasses off and she's evil. <laughs> That's Just it. That I mean, she takes yeah. her glasses Kinda. off and her personality changes completely. She ta she, that is what happens. And then she's just like, I'll be right back. Blah, blah, blah. Take and these pills. Jennifer goes upstairs because she sees the, the shadow of a small child accidentally bumps into a, the small child with a toy. But it's obviously a fucking doll. But she really freaks out. She freaks the fuck out, and it's obviously a doll. The even when the lady picks off. up the doll and it's like completely limp, and she's and holding she, it up by she like literally one hand, says, like, "Don't hold him like that." The doll is <laughs> also in half while she's holding it too. Yes. Like the doll is yeah. completely <laughs> separated. She's like, she's like Jennifer. It's a, it's a doll. Like, what the fuck? And then she, she's just like. <laughs> she, 
<laughs> You're just like, ah, uh, something, something, take your meds. Yeah. And yeah. she goes, this is probably poison. And so has a very no, long she, scene of vomiting it not. up. She she takes one of the pills and, and then, then she, she sees the bugs. bugs. There's a there's Donald Pleasance narrating over her freaking the fuck out where he's like, ah, the larva, they're the, the, the sign of that. The sarcophagus. The sarcophagus. And she's like, oh shit, I got it's a poison. puke. And I think, I don't know if it's fake puke because it looks It so sure real. looked pr- like she was spitting like. It looked pretty real. She's be spinning straight fire. She went really hard. Like she just goes up her throat with her fingers and really goes for it for it. And she just makes herself puke. And then the the teacher person, Bruckner, just comes in and she's like, Did you take your meds? She doesn't say anything. She just runs to the phone and calls something or someone. Well, when she's trying to her trying to reach the phone is quite a journey in itself. No, because uh, no, no, well, no. The first, first phone she attempt, get, she, she just walks past the, the lady yeah, right, yeah, and yeah. then goes straight to the phone without like she's just like, yeah. I'm gonna call the cops or something. I'm gonna get out of here. And she, but she doesn't say anything. No, she just walks straight Bruckner, to the phone. Yeah, she just walks to the phone and starts calling someone. And then Bruckner's like, "That's." I know what you're doing. What the fuck? And then she just goes after her and she's like, you're stuck here now. And then they play Iron Man. She judo, Le- she judo chopped yeah, her the in the back. Star yeah. Trek judo oh chopper God. in the back like a Star Trek super captain. Super intense. A super intense like pow right in the fucking neck. Let me press the button that now makes Minecraft iron appear over all my <laughs> fucking, windows. Yeah, the Fortnite reinforced oh wall God. building. <laughs> the, all the windows and shutters come down and then you notice the front door has this giant eight bolt fucking lock on it. How the fuck did she not notice that? How did she go into this stranger's home and never Notice the fucking bolt lock. It was dark out. She just Jeff, Jeff Jennifer wakes up. Iron Maiden also wakes up with her. Well, and she wakes up because shredding. the detective comes to the house. the The lady and the detective talk about like the the the, the scar from the asylum yeah. or whatever, and then she uh, like attacks him off yeah, screen, no. and you hear him screaming, and that's no, when yeah, she wakes up. Because uh, the detective is like just really quickly mentions something like you're the suspect for all these murders. And then she's like, oh yeah, I went to, when I was working at an insane asylum, I was raped by a prisoner and that's it. That's the entire. And then it reveals she has this huge scar across like her chest. He's like, let me see the scar. And she goes, no, don't touch touch it. it. I'll show you once a scar. And then she just murders him. What is with movies and characters having scars and then the opposite character always going to touch the scar? That's, I would not. Because that's how writers see the world. That's so weird. Ah, yeah. That's so fucking gross. Like, oh, you have a scar. Let me touch it. No, I'm wounded. This is, by the way, this is like 10 minutes at the end of the movie. Yeah. It's at the very end. A lot happens. Like, everything comes together very fast. I feel fucking love the phone scene when the door the she, she the, the the one lady yeah. Bruckner takes the phone hides it and locks it behind a door in the house and i but fucking she plugs love it back in. i love i yeah, she also yeah she also plugs it back in in a different room like what the fuck uh and then she locks she locks Jennifer in that room in the other room not the room with the phone the one yeah. adjacent to it but i fucking love that Jennifer finds like a hook and she pulls open there's a there's a vent at the top of the door and she unhinges oh, it it's and such then, it's such a waste of it literally it's, is a fucking waste of time so fucking stupid and i love she there's has this no pole reason. hook and she pops it open and then she gets halfway through the fucking goddamn vent and she's just trying to pull the phone up to her with the with the by the cord and and, and it obviously doesn't fucking work and, and she keeps going at it heavy Meanwhile, rock is playing the whole time while she's fucking claw machine cheating this phone I, yeah, and meanwhile there's like the most hardcore fucking music going on like, <laughs> and then she's just like really slowly trying to bring the phone towards her and it eventually falls into a random gaping hole a random hole the bottomless the, bottom yeah. the, the hole the which bottom, by the way pit. does that hole lead all the way to a different fucking asylum yeah, it leads to the know. underground dimension it's, where I, she finds she, child Either way, she's she's just like fucking fucking around with the phone, and then she just like when when that doesn't when she noticed like hey, 
I just dropped my, f- I just dropped the phone in there. I know what to do. I'll just climb through the fucking vent. It's like, why didn't you fucking do that <laughs> at the beginning? What, what a waste of time. Why didn't you just do that? Well, I think, I think there was like a word from, I think there was like steps or uh, I, I thought like Bruckner said something or like closed a door. Like it, it was implied that she like came back into the main house from wherever she was. Uh, so she yeah, panicked yeah. and then jumped into, into it. The- well, so like she drops the phone in the hole. She crawls through a fucking long tunnel following the cable which i assume the tunnel is you know 15 miles long so the phone cable yeah, is 15 miles long tries to call it's, it's, she goes so far it's so long and then the detective like is chained up to a wall and grabs her and is trying to reassure her and then she falls in the slop and pit she falls in the slop oh god pit. The slop. Big so sloppy pit. genuinely it's a giant pool full of it the looks like fluids. brown brown oatmeal and maggots it's so fucking gross i looked uh, away like i saw it and i had to keep I, it peeking was at it it was genuinely one of the grossest fucking things but the water that fills seen. it was very clean looking it was very clean um and then the teacher bruckner or whatever comes in and then she's like ah is that your, i'm Kill you or <laughs> she, just she, just she just laughs. I don't remember. She's in like full crazy mode. Yeah, the detective grabs. Yeah, she doesn't have glasses anymore. Yeah, she's evil. Yeah, she gets grabbed by the detective, and the detective starts punching her or something. Well, the detective, uh, the detective, like the evil lady comes in. The detective separates his. F- he dislocates his finger to like oh, grab the that evil was lady. So sick! This fucking gnarly. oh my god, that was so fucking awesome. And then he just beats her up. And then Jennifer Conley is in an in insane asylum somehow. Like she, this is all in the underground asylum where. Well, I think it's just like the dungeon where she keeps her son. Yeah, the dungeon. The, yeah. <laughs> See, uh, no, Brendan. It's no, Sinjin I said dungeon from Victorious. No, it's Sinjin. He's got. I don't the know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about, <laughs> Corbin? You fucking. You don't know Sinjin? What? Never mind. Watch a movie. I fucking. Don't. <laughs> what? But there's a mon- there's a child and he looks like a fucking ghoul. It's the pig the, maggot the child. child. She just finds him and run, like she's like ah, you can look at yourself in mirror now. You're so beautiful. And then he looks at the and then she looks at him and he's a maggot child. And then he starts running after her. That makeup effect looks really gross too. She, he looks fucking. That kid looks disgusting. And they go outside and Jennifer Connelly spreads her arms and the child is devoured by eighty million flies. Yeah, they go on a boat. <laughs> that's the end of the show. Well, the oh, child, wait, the no, child is carrying the magic the spear. Fire. Oh god, he does have a spear. He has the magic so spear that's shit. used to kill everybody in the movie. There's so much. You shit. think so? Are, do you think he's the killer? Because I, I think the mom is the killer. I think the mom's the so, killer. I think at the end, the child just had the murder weapon and was following yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it's super confusing. Oh, yeah. Also, meanwhile, all this is happening. The monkey f- is f- just finds a garbage can with a knife. With a with a, with like we a for, shaving, like forgot, a barber's knife. Like, yeah, a barber's I mean, knife. Like, I forgot like, to mention that this is a very, it's it's a pivotal thing. It's very important to the Like plot. this movie, if I was going to explain this movie to somebody who is in a drama club, I'd say it's like Sweeney Todd, but with a monkey. Oh, oh my me. God. <laughs> well, I mean, the whole point was she was like, she was clearly traumatized from anything that happened to her, and she was like, "Oh, like people, people are trying to hurt me, so I'm killing them first, or something like that." It's not it wasn't yeah. entirely clear, but she took off the glasses and was evil. Boat fire, yeah. Like, right. Gasoline she tries spills to in the rowboat. A- Jennifer Conley goes in the water, and it fucking explodes. And I don't remember it why. Explodes. I do not remember why. Reason. I, I, I. Was there a reason? Does anyone remember why it blew up? Well, the baby, the baby, the baby stabbed the gas tank, and she tried to start it while the gas was loose. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, and yeah. then it fire, and then she's like, "Ah, I'm so scared," and then she jumps into the thing. But then baby's in the water fighting her, and then she surfaces for air, and he surfaces for air, and he catches on fire and dies instantly. Punished, it goes from baby to <laughs> punished so venom strange. baby to burned baby. It's that's and about I, the I span of a realize. minute or two. It's very fast. This, All this like, happens takes, so fast. Yeah, no, th- we're talking so much, but we're saying nothing because this movie, everything is just bam. It just happens, and then Jennifer goes to shore, and uh, the lawyer, her her father's lawyer, finds her, and she's like, "Ah, oh, I found you." And then he's she's like, "How did you find me?" And then his head gets fucking chopped off. Oh, God. 
By a piece of sheet metal, which it's also so there was a setup so cool. earlier with him where he clearly shows he oh, has really? like a gun in his car as he arrives in Switzerland oh, yeah. where this movie is taking oh, place. Yeah. And they show him with a gun. So I thought there would be some final conflict that would involve the involve the guy with the gun, the monkey and the lady. Uh, yeah. But he gets his fucking head chopped, decapitated fully, like removed with a piece of sheet metal. In one clean swipe. In one clean chop. Like it's the guy so from the sweet. Slap Chop commercial it is couldn't really be prouder. Cool. It is fucking awesome. It, like, who was it that chopped his head off? None other than Bruckner. She's still alive and she has a fucked up face. And she just jumps on fucking Jennifer and starts fucking like trying to chop her head off. Yeah, like she has the sheet metal on her throat, pushing down. Like blood's coming out. It looks. It is really gnarly. It's not good. And she had just chopped a guy's head off, but she's just slowly like g giving her exposition while the piece of sheet metal is on Jennifer's neck. She's like, hmm. Does she even give? I don't think she. Yeah, gives no, she, exposition. she's talking. She, she's saying something she's talking. Like, she's like villain monologuing. Yeah, I don't remember what she says because. What happens next will shock you. <laughs> Three <laughs> real facts take, about this movie. Please, somebody take this. I the can't even. Monkey I can't do it comes except. back with the knife and fucking beats the shit out of the bad lady. <laughs> Yeah, it's not so much he's stabbing her with it. He's just sort of she's slicing it and dicing. Just, yeah, my just favorite like part is you can see how it. dull how it dull the so knife is because you can see it just oh, streaking against yeah. the fake blood on her face. Oh, absolutely! I, love that. I mean, just... no shit. They wouldn't give a real <laughs> knife on. to that fucking monkey. Why didn't monkey? they give the monkey a real knife? Come Let's on, give the Italian. who has Dude, escaped a real knife. <laughs> Just the the scene where the monkey is holding the knife and laughing and going, I could not. I was so fucking scared. <laughs> was that was horrifying. Shit. It was awesome. I went from horrified so of the scary. monkey to intimidated by the monkey to in awe of the monkey. I'm monkey awestruck. And, and then Jennifer Connelly gets up, looks at the monkey, says... Well, that was crazy, huh, monkey? Let's go home. And then they and they hug. They and take. Ends. They hug. They hug. They gr they hold each other's hands and they go into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> they ride off into the sunset in a Dodge that's Durango. It. That's the movie. <laughs> it's really incredible how much that chimpanzee adds to the movie. It's really that's really movie, distracting though, because there's like important dialogue scenes where there's just a chimpanzee sitting on a table like doing stuff. If you remove <laughs> the monkey, the movie is unwatchable. Agreed. Well, the thing is, like, the chimpanzee's in the foreground, too. Like, the important conversation's happening 10 feet from the camera, and the ape is three feet from the camera. Like, <laughs> yeah. Focus on it. One of, the, one of the really funny things that I've learned is, uh, do you guys remember all those scenes with Donald Pleasance at the beginning of the movie where he's just, like, with the... With just talking to Jennifer Connelly and the monkey. Yeah. Well, I, he's not talking to the monkey. The monkey's just there. This I can... This is a real fact. This is not one of those, like, not too sure if it's real facts. This is a real fact. Jennifer Connelly said in an interview that at one time... At one point in one scene, the uh, the monkey kept turning around to look at the rest of the cast and crew, like, off screen. So Dario Argento told Jennifer, like, hey, just put your hand, can you put your hand on, like, her shoulder, like, the monkey's shoulder or something, just so, oh, like, yeah, it yeah. can keep looking in front of her. And they started filming, and Jennifer did that when the monkey looked away, and the monkey got enraged and jumped her and started biting her. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my and fucking for the God. Rest, and for the rest of the movie... Je like the chimp was pissed and would <laughs> would refuse to do shots with Jennifer. What a diva! So it, I I do not know how the fuck they filmed well, that ending. Well, no, no, because there's that one scene where um where she, she go where the monkey, monkey goes upstairs and she's like, "Come on, monkey, let's play," and it just oh has like God, this I long shot that. on Donald Pleasant <laughs> sitting downstairs as you hear and her and the monkey laughing. playing in the other room. But they're super far yeah, she, because it's, oh, we don't want the monkey to bite her again. We'll just say they're playing off screen. Play monkey sounds. No, 
one of the another fact about this movie, like pretty much my only last fact. Uh, do you guys? I I know that uh, Brendan knows about uh, Clock Tower, the P, the the SNES game. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm vaguely aware of that, but yeah, Clock Tower, the original game. It also got a port or whatever, but the original game on the SNES mm. was loosely based off of this. What? <laughs> Yeah, because uh, it, it like Fucking um, <laughs> yeah, Hifumi Kono, the creator of the Clock Tower series, mentioned multiple times that <laughs> Phenomena was a instrumental part of creating uh Clock Tower, and you can kind of tell because oh, the kid for Clock Tower, the kid, yeah, the kid looks exactly like. The Scissor Man or whatever. Oh, Scissor and Man. And also, yeah. And also, the main character of Clock Tower is called Jennifer Simpson. Jennifer, and uh, she's also vegetarian, like oh the character in the movie. There's a there's a whole page that I found about similarities between Clock Tower and Phenomena. Mandy, I I actually have a film fact. Uh, about this movie, that you do not oh my know. god! Oh. Like, oh, wait, <laughs> yeah. Oh go yeah, ahead, Corbin, yeah. Go ahead. Oh no. Uh, wait for context. For context, watch re watch the commentary or listen to the commentary. <laughs> go ahead, sorry. Mary, you know that scene uh, in the beginning when the girl's getting dropped off at school. And the car turns, and the, le the leather squeaks, and it sounded exactly like a fart. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, oh, god that, damn I, I actually shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking irritated. <laughs> I thought it was the We movie. laughed so, so hard. Me too! We laughed so hard, and then when we, when we took the break... Between the commentary and the discussion, he just said, like, hey, guys, I actually shit myself. <laughs> I, I fucking I ripped ass. No one said anything, and I was like, "Is no one gonna say anything?" Well, was we like, thought it was was that in the, the movie? The went, yeah, what the fuck was that in the movie? For, <laughs> I thought for sure it was I mean, in the I, movie. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to say anything because in my head I was like, "Oh, dude, I'm not gonna say." I, like, <laughs> no, if, no if, if somebody farted, I, I was gonna be like, "Oh well, if somebody farted, I'll go back and get rid of it." And then somebody mentioned like, "Oh yeah, no, it's in the movie," and I was like, oh, "Okay, <sighs> don't need to go back." <laughs> Jesus. God. I legit thought it was from the movie. I, I could not believe I got away with that. I was like, no, this is What would you guys rate this movie? Would you, is it art or is it fart. cool? It's art. It's art. It's art. I, I, I love I love why is a it lot art? of the long lingering shots uh are gonna stick with me for a while. And I know that like the monkey stuff is cool, but it's so sparse in between the fucking ridiculous yeah. uh, the, the the anxiety I got from watching this movie makes me feel like it was art because the last time I was this anxious watching a movie it was the second life movie in the Minneapolis uh, uh the art museum what? and I got that same vibe from watching the second life movie that I got from watching this movie know, and that I, was art so this is that, art I don't know what that I don't know what that means it's an art I, installation I, in Minneapolis that is basically a second life it's a movie shot in second life that plays there you put headphones on and watch it oh, oh that's so weird yeah, that is so weird. I, wa I watched it when I was in high school. I don't know if it's still there, but I, th I had the same feeling watching this movie from that. So I'm going to say art. What about you, Corbin? I would have to say art as well. Um, for almost the exact opposite reason as Brendan. <laughs> okay. How come? It's like, uh, you ever see those videos on TikTok where the dog has a, like a paintbrush in its mouth? No. It's nothing like that. So that's good. What? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I will so also go with art because, like Brendan said, the ape is very cool. The bug talking is very cool, but most of the movie is rock, inappropriate rock music playing while Jennifer Connelly slowly moves around a room. Like, there's, there's so much. Like, there, there's yeah. some very good shots in it. Oh, there! I mean, it's Dario. Dario yeah. always has fucking oh, yeah. amazing like, shots. It's frame, the, colors, frame the colors are beautiful. I love but this it cinematography. Is way more art than cool. No, you're thinking of uh, of uh, fuck. What is it called? Cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, David. How do you feel about this movie? I was. I mean. Uh, I'm, that TikTok with a I, dog with a <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Corbin. 
I, 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 <laughs> fucking, fuck you. <laughs> so I, I would say art because I am a huge fan of Dario. Enough that I went out. The reason why I watched this the first time was because there was a, uh, an art, an art house near me, an art theater that was showing a bunch of Dario movies. And that's why I watched this movie. Oh, right. So I'm such a hipster douche that it, this is art. The tone of the movie. I don't know is, what the tone is. Supposed I don't to know be. what the tone is. And I think that's art. I, I can't even, I feel like depending on who you are, the tone will be totally different. Oh, sure. Because the thing so, is like when you put music that, that is so far out there for what's happening in the scene, people are going to draw all sorts of shit out of it. Oh yeah. And also, I mean, Dario said it was art. I believe him. He knows more than me. He's Italian. Yeah. So that was phenomena. I'm curious if there's Look. like what, what the definitive version of it is or what Dario I would also say is. Am. Because it's getting like a new release, like you, I think. It, it just, it, no, no, just it, it, it already got a, it already got a release. The, the release you watch on Shutter is not the current new transfer. Right. But Synapse Films, uh, under Arrow Video posted, uh, put out the, uh, that, mm -hmm. uh, new version. And I think he would probably say the original Italian, uh, redubbed. I'm sure. I'm almost curious to see the, um, actually Creepers at some point. Yeah, like, no, if they cut, if you cut is, a half hour out of that movie, like how yeah. does that affect um, the pace of it? I've watched it at two times speed and did not notice any difference. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, uh, I mean, there's a huge. I, I found a cut co cut comparison thing where it compares the cuts, and I mean, twenty seven is a lot. Yeah, and the thing is, the creepers cut doesn't cut the things that could or should have been cut from the actual movie. It actually cuts like plot things that are really important. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I, I so don't know. I saw know. part of it on TV years ago, and it was like incomprehensible, which uh, <laughs> and I, I didn't mean, know it was cut down. So again, yeah, it even as it is, there's still parts where it's like, what the fuck is happening? So yeah, no, I um, I had fun. I like this movie. I also I like this movie. Don't know if I would recommend watching it with a group of people or a group of friends though because i feel like there's a lot of boring parts i would i would Dude. but drink for every monkey moment oh I was drink just saying, for the monkey. best part of that movie was when we all saw monkey and scream monkey <laughs> <laughs> yeah honestly the monkey is there at the boring parts so that was pondering thanks for listening fuck you I thought it was I learned a lot about on. chimpanzees i learned a lot about chimpanzees from you learning a lot about chimpanzees <laughs> Here, here's a huge thank you to all our top patrons, such as Brain Soup, The Frost Aced, Butternut, Stinger123, It's Ducktastic, Ethereal, The Cardboard Knight, Me, Kaka, Inspector Seb, Chris Chapman, Matt, Caffeine Addicted Chemist, Beasley, Hater115, hey. Handsome Destiny, Loudon Woodworth, DX Studios, Winnie Rab, Beer, Will 9455, John with a B, huh? Probably, The Big Gay, Shantanu Batia, Harry Norris, Snake Asylum, Dustin Axolotl, Preston B, Bongo Crust, Schizo, Limpo, Bike, <laughs> Leo the Geotech, Air 109, Fang Jade, Generic Phoenix, Inverted Vanman, Ben Chrismanic, Notoriety, Winchester Curse, Toki Madness, Egg, Travis Vapes, Pupulu, Spherical Nathan, William Oliver, Dreams of Ice, Smuggle, Eric Scott Gillies, Alan Ever, <laughs> Duff Smith. I tried to go for like a fucking Uncle Fester uh, thing, but I just realized I have no idea what Uncle Fester sounds like. So it kind of sounded like uh, just an old man. Just uh, uh, it just sounded bad. That was bad, bro. Oh my god, I feel, I'm sorry.